Alrighty, boys. So it's actually been a bit since we reacted to uh, what's it called? The Age of a Banner Lord, which is an RTS mod, a real time strategy mod. It combines um, Age of Empires and uh, Banner Lord together. It is made by Block right over here. Uh, link to all his stuff will be down below. He has a Patreon and all of that. Go support it. And uh, he has a new development update for the RTS mod. Um, I have been kind of busy, so I haven't been able to hit him up yet, but I am going to get to it and hopefully figure out more information about the mod and all of that. But I am very excited to see what is added, what is new. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what he got for us today. And uh, shout out to him for letting me uh, react to it. I appreciate it. Banner man can be recruited from castles culture dependent styled banners boosts armor and damage rise by 10% Let me make this full screen. Yeah Okay, so he's a support unit All right Not too loud. Let's go like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Don't tell the people on the forums about this, man. They're about to be like, listen, uh, they got banners and the actual Banner Lord game doesn't have banners. Can you believe it? <laughs> I saw a thread on, on the forums. I bet this doesn't have to do with uh, this video, but... Yeah, there was a person still like, com like making complete threads about like, where are the banners? Where are they at? But yeah, where are they at? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about them, but you know, yeah, there's an uproar. All right, man, let's get back to the video. Oh, that trebuchet needs some accuracy, man. It needs an accuracy uh, uh, upgrade. Did you see that right there? He aimed for that house. Holy! <laughs> Blacksmith upgrades. Basic upgrades from Blacksmith. Increase armor and weapon damage by 20%. No visual change. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I like it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Now, if you want to make it real fancy, what you can do is, instead of just making it a basic upgrade, split it up based on the unit types. But then I'm guessing you have to, um, if you do do it by unit types, then you'll have to actually, I don't know if Bannerlord itself has like, um, if it's integrated or, you're, or if you're gonna have to define every single unit to its type. I don't know exactly how it would work in terms of like the modding of it, but. Yeah, it's a good start. Okay. Uh, another thing you can do that um, uh, kind of like whenever you click on the unit, I don't know if it shows how much damage and stuff they do. I so hold on. If you select a unit, do you actually get to see like how much like damage it does and just all that uh basic info and stuff like that? Or if I missed that, I might have missed it. But that might be another cool thing to add. And then like um, you know, you can either add like the icon that this already has the upgrade, or it's it's an upgraded unit or something like that. So you don't really have to make a visual change. You can just put it like on a little sidebar, if there is a sidebar available. RTS camera faster, age of uh, age of like RTS camera can be controlled with WSD and mouse scroll. Sensational right there. Turned off and on by pressing B. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. No, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. an RTS camera. Yeah. 
I like it. This is probably how I would play the uh, mod, to be honest with you. Very cool. True. That zooms out really, really far, Jesus. <laughs> That's a far zoom out, but okay. Some action. That that brings another thing. Since you have the RTS camera now, you don't have to add it now, but like in the further, further iterations. There has to be like some type of fog of war that also has to get added. But that's like way deeper down the line. Doesn't have to get out right now. Some action. All right, let's see it. And this is what is so crazy because like it's an RTS, but then you can go in control the troops, also control the formation and stuff. And then kind of like it becomes like even more strat more strategic in a way, you know what I mean? Because you can change the outcome of the battle heavily based on your skills like in combat and stuff of that nature. So yeah, it's, it's, it's so good. Because like in a regular RTS, um, regular RTS, it's like, you you have control of certain units and like let's say for example like an rts like uh warcraft 3 right and that one you have a hero which has a lot more capabilities but at the same time you're still you can't ha like control him the same way as you're able to control a banner lord character you know you can see how they move you can kind of dodge out the way move back it's it's like a certain like little finesse like extra finesse you have while controlling you know somebody in banner lord and is it's pretty much what makes it like just that extra extra like I don't know how to explain it. it becomes more strategic in a way so yeah I love it Oh, the towers attack? I just noticed this. The towers attack. Bang, you saw that little arrow? Or is there somebody in the tower? RP. Oh no, the towers attack because the other tower attacked as well. Nice. The town bell is ringing too. That's pretty cool. And I think that about does it. But uh, yeah, very cool. Another development update. Obviously, the uh, what's it called the main things of this update is the banner man banners in here, but not in the actual game. Feels weird, man. No, I'm just, uh, the blacksmith upgrades. There you go. And the RTS camera. Actually, I think this is the biggest um, of the updates. This is very, it's pretty big. I mean, RTS is 
a big part of RTS is, is if you know even if you don't think of it, it like a lot it's it's how the camera's positioned the WASD and all that it kind of you know makes it into what it is but uh yeah pretty cool I'm gonna continue uh, covering this uh, shout out to him like I said all links down below to his channel his patreon all that go check it out go support and I'll see you in the next one